In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a little known trick that you can use on Mac computers to make it so that your computer will read articles to you so that you can kind of listen to a web page rather than having to read it. So let's get started with how to do this. Here I am on a blog. This is a technology blog that is discussing Circle with Disney. If you're not familiar with Circle with Disney, it's a pretty easy tool that makes it so that you can manage your kids and their technology so that you can limit the amount of time your kids spend on iPads or other mobile devices, on your desktop computer, your laptops, and basically you add profiles and you set limits to what your kids can access and how much time they can spend on technology. So it's really nice for parents especially. It helps keep your kids safer online and also helps you limit the amount of time that they spend online. You can also just with the press of a button turn off the internet in your whole house. So anyway this video isn't about Circle with Disney. I may make one in the future but if you are interested in Circle with Disney I'll put a link in the description of this video below. But let's say you're interested in reading this blog about Circle with Disney but you also need to be working on your computer. What you could do is just click and drag to highlight the text that you would like read to you and then simply right click and you'll notice at the bottom it says add to iTunes as a spoken track. If I select that it lets me choose a voice that will read this to me. Okay, And just so you know some of these have accents from different countries and so some of them will actually make it a little bit harder to understand but you should try some of these to see what works best for you. Next, I can put in the title of the file that it's going to create. So I'll call this blog about Circle with Disney. And it's going to save it in my music folder. I'll click continue. And then it does take a few seconds typically. That time it was pretty quick. You heard that beep. That meant that it has finished converting this text to speech. Now I can go down and open up iTunes and you'll notice there is this blog converted into audio and it's a two minute 54 second audio. I'll double click on it and we'll be able to hear this blog spoken aloud by my computer. So a few weeks ago I saw a Facebook video advertisement for Circle with Disney with kids ages 12, 14 and 15. It sounded like just what my family needed at home to help us better manage technology usage. Okay, I'm going to pause it there. But you can hear it definitely sounds like a computer reading text. But it does include things like gasps for air and things like that that make it sound a little bit more realistic. And there are different voices to choose from. So is this the perfect option for maybe listening to your homework rather than reading it? Maybe not. But I do think it is a helpful thing to be able to listen to short blogs, short articles, things like that while you're doing some other work. So I hope that that's useful to you. If any of you have a better option for converting text to speech, text to audio, so that you could listen to, let's say, a 30-page article that you're supposed to read for class or whatever it might be, please put those suggestions in the comments below. I know that there are paid options out there and some may be better than others. So if you've got a great solution, whether it's paid or free, please put it in the comments. And if you are interested in learning more about Circle with Disney, I think it's a fantastic tool, especially for parents in the home. But I will put a link in the video description below. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy converting text to audio. And please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And watch for a new video at least every Monday. And please consider connecting with me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, etc.